involves equilibrium. Okay, and it's known as the oscillating clock. And you'll soon enough see that why that is. Tony's going to be demonstrating it for us. Basically, we've got three solutions. One of potassium iodate, common salt, malonic acid, which is um, found in some vegetables, okay, such as beetroot, and the ones where all of you who bleach your hair every now and again, hydrogen peroxide. So basically, Tony's putting those three together, and what happens is we reach an equilibrium where we react to the potassium iodate with the hydrogen peroxide, that forms hypoiodous <laughs> acid, which then wants to become iodine. Iodine is the blue colour, okay? The amber colour you're seeing is the hypoiodous acid. But it's in equilibrium, but it can't go straight from one to the other. Basically, it goes through an intermediate, the middleman, and that's the clear solution you see. Okay, it's the, I guess, the, the easiest way to consider this. This will keep going until that love triangle basically sorts itself out, okay? It, it wants to reach the proper equilibrium, but they haven't figured out where it will sit. Who's going for amber being the colour that it sits on? Come on. John thinks it is. No? No? What about the blue? Yeah, so it is actually the blue. And basically, as this continues, I mean, we're not going to sit and watch this for forever, but if at some point during the rest of the demonstrations you look over here, you'll undoubtedly see that this has finally settled on a specific colour. Okay? 